Today we're changing the oil on a 2008 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 V8. Before getting started, you'll want to have all your tools and products available. A good shop manual, rags, torque wrench, sockets, filter wrench, funnel, drain pan, and of course oil and filter for your specific application. Always work safe and seek help from a qualified person if necessary. Never crawl under a vehicle supported by a jack. Work safe. Warm the oil before you drain it. A few miles of driving will do that. Remove the oil plug and let the oil drain completely. Remove the old filter. Make sure the gasket comes off with the old filter. Here I'm using an oil filter wrench of the type that grips the outside of the filter. Once loosened, it can be turned off by hand. Clean the mounting base with a clean rag and make sure the gasket from the old filter isn't stuck to it. Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic Motor Oil is engineered to outperform conventional and synthetic motor oils. It combines industry premier synthetic technology with Amsoil Premium Additives in a unique formulation that exceeds the higher performance demands of modern engines. Amsoil EA oil filters feature advanced fully synthetic media that traps and holds a greater amount of small, wear-causing contaminants compared to conventional filters. They provide extended service intervals for increased convenience while helping reduce engine wear. Pour some oil in the filter. This will reduce the dry start time and help oil pressure come up quicker on the first start. Thoroughly oil the filter gasket prior to installing the filter. The instructions included with your filter will show how tight to make the filter. Here I'm using a filter wrench that grips the flutes on the end of the filter and is turned with a 3H drive ratchet. Space is limited so it's good to have a couple different types of wrenches. These wrenches are available from Amsoil and fit the EA filters. This particular one is a 93mm for the EA-011 filter. In the meantime, the oil pan has drained completely. Carefully wipe around the hole and reinstall the plug. Make sure it's not cross-threaded, it should easily turn in by hand. Use a torque wrench to tighten it properly. Your shop manual will have the proper torque value. The clicker style is the best for jobs like this. You can hear and feel the click without having to look at the torque wrench. I'll fill with Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic. This application uses 5W20. The proper grade of oil is in your owner's manual and often shown on the oil fill cap. After filling with new oil, start the motor and check for leaks. The old used oil can go back into the containers it came in, then taken to your recycler. Any spills are cleaned up with some floor dry. Okay, while waiting a couple minutes, 
for the oil to settle, this is a good time to inspect the air filter and blow it out. Let the oil drain back into the pan for a few minutes and check the oil level on the dipstick. Make sure it's at the proper level for your vehicle. There it is. Looks pretty good. For more information on purchasing AMSOIL products, go to MidwestSynthetic.com. Thanks for watching.